I want to drink water. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. Today I want to make different type of video where I want to talk to you, say hello, and also show you what I'm working on. So I really like the idea of working in one program, spending as much time as possible. And it's no secret, I love architecture and the game Mirror's Edge. And I'm trying to build my own little environment as much as possible, 100% in Unreal Engine. This is my escape project. And usually when I want to just wind down and chill, I open the modeling tools and I start experimenting with stuff. Or if I want to explore what's new in Unreal Engine, for example, these textures here are created with the texture graph in 5.4. And I had some fun, actually lots of fun, experimenting with the texture graph, learning about it. And I made a tutorial about this and a few other topics that will be on the channel soon. It takes time to edit and you know how it is. So this is what I'm spending some of my time with. And the way I'm doing this is these tools I found about yesterday. Before that, I was simply go to the modeling mode. Enable this from the plugins, then add a box. Let's say here, this is the box. Press F to focus your selection, or let's just move it outside of that box. You can change the dimensions from here, or in this case, you just simply want to start modeling. So you can go to model, poly edit. You can select a face and start moving things around. And I would prefer to have a material on top of this, but I think it could have been from the box when I create a new object that will just make it look nicer. So let's see. We can assign that later. So you can do the block out. And obviously this is a box, this is very simple, but it works in this case, right? Like this simple city later once we add streets and whatnot. And with the procedural tools, with PCG, with the spline tools, I'm sure there is a lot can be done. So now you have your shape, click on it. You can go to poly edit again. You can click on an edge and you can bevel. So you can increase the bevel distance. You're limited by 100. Nope, we're not. So we can make it like 500 or more. And I'm simply now what I'm doing is I actually this is just a box. There is absolutely nothing here. So, oh, please don't crash. If I uh, change the shape. So let's actually do this quick test. So I'm going to go to the form, sorry, model, click on this asset, click here, and then just simply do this. And all of this will change. And it's like completely different look in a way around so i'm gonna press ctrl z and hope it won't crash because if it crashes it's a bad thing thank you very much i stopped the recording by mistake and i lost my train of thought i don't want for this video to be too long so i want to wrap it up with a recent finding i did so yesterday i was looking into the geometry tools where you can do this to well do this you can change the floor i, I promise and when you have like floors like this, you can select this handle thing, for example, and you can change it, you can select this part, change the opening. And here is a like quick example of what I've done. So this is the same mesh as this, but it's transformed. So that's cool. And as for the materials, if you want to quickly take a look at what do we have. So all of these are in Lyra template sample project. And if you download that from the Unreal sample projects, so if you go to the sample stop, Lyra starter game, are you having this with 5.4? Some projects I used to have in 5.3 are working, but in 5.4 they're not. I'd appreciate some help. Now going back to the topic, once you download this, you need to go to two places. For the tools, you want to go to content, tools. And for the materials, you want to go to plugins and then Lyra example content, content, and you're going to find them here. Now, for me, what I did is just simply copy paste these from here to a new project. I opened them in this project and I went to the content folder. I selected the tools folder that was somewhere here and I moved it also to plugins next to these guys because they come together. Now, every time I want to use these tools, so these tools, if you want to take a quick look, you can do this. So this is absolutely amazing. Anyway, so all these tools, I move them here. And now when I, whenever I want to move this to another project, I can uh, either migrate them. I don't know, I've never tried migrating these, but what I usually do is I simply show an explorer and I go to my project. I can simply copy this and put it in my other Unreal Engine project and reuse them. So this is something I recently learned. I'm also learning more about geometry script 
to find easier ways to create these buildings and perhaps replace all of this with procedural buildings. I'll keep you updated. I hope you found today's video interesting, useful. Let me know if you want me to make more of these where, you know, showing you what I'm working on. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you want me to tell you, stay hydrated. So stay hydrated and take care. Bye bye. Hey, so this is future Yahya. For your convenience, this is here a new Unreal Engine project. If I right click, you have the option show in Explorer. And here is the project. So I go back one step. We are here now in the root of that folder. All right. Now, here is the Lyra project. You need to go to the content folder, click on tools and Ctrl C, go to the content here, press Ctrl V. In my case, since the project doesn't open, I cannot migrate. Next, you need to go to my projects. Here we are. And plugins. We need to make a new folder here called plugins as well. And layer example content, control C, control V. You can do that. And now in my project here, if I go to the tools, I can click and drag. If I am allowed, can I do it? Let me restart the project at least. Okay, I restarted the project and it looks like I still have the same problem. And I think it's because we need to check the plugins. So let's go here and let's check for the geometry. So let's type geo. Here we have geometry, it's enabled, but geometry script is not enabled. So let's enable this. Let's click on yes and let's click on restart. All right, now we restarted the engine. Let's try that again. So here I have my tools. I can click and drag and they are working. So it will compile the shader. We can use the tools since we have the geometry script. Unreal froze, but now we're good. All right. So now what I prefer to do and what I mentioned earlier in the tutorial to keep things organized because I don't like to see so many folders. I would go to plugins, Lyra, example content, expand this, bring the tools, click, drag, move here. Okay. About to load, yeah, click yeah. And to make sure we need to right click and fix up redirectors just in case. So update redirector references on both folders just in case. Yeah, it did it for us since we moved it here. Now, if you move this folder anywhere, you're going to have these. I hope things are more clear now and I will see you soon.